In this tutorial, I'll look at the Assignments feature of Moodle. I'll show you how you can create an assignment. We'll look at how we can configure it to track our student participation. I'll swap hats momentarily and show you what this student experience is like when they submit assignments. And then I'll return to the teacher view to show you how you can mark an assignment and provide feedback to your students. So I'm logged in as a teacher, I need to turn editing on and then scroll down to where within Moodle you'd like to place your assignment. For me it's in this section here, so I hit add an activity or resource. From the options provided I'm going to choose assignment and then click add. So the first thing you need to do is give the assignment a title. And then a description. Now you could choose to include the instructions to your students here. I'm going to now take you through some other settings to the assignment. To assist in that, I'm going to click this expand all button to make the next process a little bit easier. And then I'm going to start scrolling through the various settings. The first refers to availability, so effectively when the assignment is due. I'm going to set a date. Now, if you choose to, you can also set this cutoff date. This allows for late submissions of work and you can then provide a window of time after the due date that you allow submitted work. If, that, if students submit after the due date, it's flagged to you as late and you can decide how to penalise their marks. I'll scroll down to the submission set types. We do in fact want file submissions and in this example, I only need my students to upload one file, but you can choose what's appropriate there. I like to provide feedback to my students, so I'm going to turn on this Feedback Comments option. Under Submission Settings, I'm going to leave them alone, but I'll just draw your attention to one of them. This setting here actually provides a plagiarism statement to students that they have to tick before they can submit work, showing that the work is their own, and I'll demonstrate that when I log in later as a student. So I'm going to leave those settings as they are. We're not using group work so I'm going to scroll down through that as well. Now under notifications, if you wanted the system to let you know that there's work that's been submitted by your students, you can turn notifications on and then you'll be alerted as students submit work. And here under the grade settings we've got some choices to make. First of all, how we're going to grade our students so it could be a numeric grade or one of the predefined marking schemes. I'm going to choose marking scheme A and I'll show you later how that appears. I'm going to scroll down again skipping over some of these options until we get to the last section here which is on activity completion and it's now we can look at how we track participation for our students. So if you think about an assignment, the actual act of them submitting work, whether you mark it or not, is a measure of valid participation. So we want to capture that. So what I'm going to do is from the completion tracking option, I'm going to choose the last option, show an activity is complete when a condition is met. And the specific condition I'm interested in is when a student must submit this activity completed. So the act of them uploading a file or submitting work then gets tracked by the system and that's important for our auditing. And then I'm going to save and return to course. So there we are, we've created our first assignment. Let's now have a look at how that appears to our students. I'm going to swap hats for a moment. I'm going to toggle over to another browser and show you now what the student experience is like. So I'm going to navigate into the section where the assignment was. It's this Excel assignment so I'm clicking on this. This is where the students get to see the instructions that you've provided to them and the ways in which they'll be marked etc. And then a student can add a submission. Now because this allows for file submissions there's an area that students can upload their files and they can do that in one of two ways. They can, for instance, drag a file and drop it into the area provided and that will upload it. Alternatively, should they prefer, they can click the Add button and then navigate for their file by browsing through their computer.
Once a student has done that, they can click the Save Changes button. They get a little confirmation screen which shows what they're about to upload and then they can submit the assignment. And it's at this point that there's a plagiarism statement that they must tick in order to fulfill the submission. Once they've done that, they can click continue. So in terms of the student work, that's now done. The student has successfully uploaded their assignment and it's awaiting a teacher's mark. I'm going to return now to the teacher view to show you that next process. So I'm in now as a teacher. I can click on the assignment and I can click view grade all submissions. I can see that a particular student has submitted a piece of work for grading. I have the option in this grade column to do that. So I click on the little pen symbol here. I'm provided with information about that student's submission, when it was submitted, and importantly in this example, the piece of work. So I can go and open that up, look at it and mark it, assess it. And then when I return to Moodle, I can now start to grade and give feedback. So I'm going to choose a grade that's appropriate. And then I can give some feedback comments to my student. And hit save changes. So the marking process has now been successfully completed. You can see now as I'm returned to the grade view for this uh, assignment that the grade has been recorded. I'm going to toggle one last time to the student view to see what that looks like for our students. So now when the student comes in they can see that it's graded and it's highlighted in green. And as the student scrolls down, they can see the grade that they've been given, by who, and the feedback that you provided them.